You know, I'm really excited about Peter Diamandis and Stephen Cutler's new book, Abundance. Right off the bat, they explain this idea that technology is a resource liberating mechanism and that scarcity is actually contextual. Something is only scarce until you develop the technology that turns it into something abundant. They introduce this concept of exponential technological progress. And to explain this, they talk about 30 steps. If you take 30 linear steps, one, two, three, four, five, 30 steps later, you're at 30. If you take 30 exponential steps, two, four, eight, 16, 30 steps later, you're at a billion. That's the reason that the cell phone in your pocket today is a million times cheaper, a million times smaller, and a thousand times more powerful than a $60 million supercomputer was in the 1960s. That's the billion fold increase in price and performance and miniaturization. You know, a young person with a cell phone in Africa today has access to better communications technology than the US president did 25 years ago. So it's this concept of exponential growth, right? And then you have the rising billion around the world, people coming online for the first time, buying smartphones, joining the global conversation. You have a new generation of techno philanthropists, you know, people that have made billions of dollars in the information age. They have the resources of nation states and they want to transform the world. You have, you have DIY innovators, you know, leveraging emerging technologies to impact the world in a positive way. And so the book ends up being a kind of really optimistic take on a possible path that we could take. We could leverage these emerging technologies that are evolving exponentially and we can transform the world. It's up to us and abundance shows us how.